This is an excerpt from the Bridge to Freedom publication, Memoirs of Beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, Helping the Angelic Host, an address by Beloved Mother Mary. The angelic host are the representatives of love. They are the embodiment of the divine thought and feeling of the Godhead, and their bodies are made up of the pure electronic light. These beautiful bodies are pure God essence, vibrating at the highest speed and express the most perfect tone of love and light in the universe. In order for these perfected beings to render service to men in the outer world, they must descend into the sphere of activity in which their service is to take place. And in so doing, their bodies undergo a change in vibratory action corresponding to the sphere or plane in which they are serving, and in order that the electronic substance in the lower sphere might receive the full radiation that they bring. If they remained in their pure and perfect electronic bodies, the vibratory reaction of their release of love and light, healing, purity and peace would be so rapid that the denser and coarser vibrations of the lower sphere would record but a very small part of their outpouring. The Service of Archangel Michael A great many of the angelic host, particularly the cherubim, have never functioned in the lower spheres, remaining constantly above the vibratory action of discord, as represented by the four outermost spheres of the kingdom today. However, Archangel Michael and his legions are particularly endowed with a capacity to function in the mental, etheric and emotional planes, and they take for this purpose vehicles made up of the purest substance that these planes can offer. This brings them much closer to the sense consciousness of the people and makes it possible from time to time for the veil to be parted and the veiled glory of the angelic form to be revealed to some of the astute members of the human kingdom. The people who admire the beauty and perfection of the angelic host little realize that their splendor is dimmed by mercy and that the awe-inspiring presence of these mighty beings is but a limited expression of their true perfection when functioning in the higher octaves. Ascended Masters and the Angelic Host The advent of the sacred season places the attention of mankind upon the members of the spiritual hierarchy, the heavenly host and the angels. This allows a tremendous outpouring from the perfected side of life and draws into the lower spheres many thousands of those representatives of love who perform a service and give a radiation through the mental, emotional, etheric and physical kingdoms by identifying themselves with the atoms that make up these various realms. The Ascended Master, under whose direction the angelic host work, directs the cosmic rays and assists the angelic brothers in the process of lowering the vibratory action of their bodies to a point where they can tangibly assist the kingdom in which they are temporarily stationed. And when the master draws the ray, the angels automatically increase their vibration and return to their former estate. That is why you have seen in the representations of the early artists the rays directed by the master and the angel representing the culminating point of such a ray. The Gifts of the Angelic Host Let us be among those who can and will receive joyously and happily the gifts and powers of the Angelic Host and the glory of freedom that is part and parcel of your being and the divine radiation which is that of the Holy Season and make it whatsoever you require to manifest God perfection. Will you do this? As your mother, it is my desire, my hope, my prayer, that you shall so accept, by the power of my love for you, those gifts which we all have for you, particularly the angelic host at this time. Oh yes, you say, but the years take toll. They show, and I yearn for the over there. Have you thought, beloved ones, why they have no mirrors or calendars at Luxor? and that your over there is just what you make here. 
So straighten your spines and be like Sanat Kumara, the youth of eternal summers. If you do not like what you see in the mirror, through the power of acceptance, do not look upon it. But you can feel the radiation and gifts which are ours at all times. Now, beloved ones, accept that feeling, that healing essence, which is the gift of my life flowing into, through and around you and around all in distress, removing the cause and the core of that distress and replacing it by God happiness right here and now. How you can help. Here we have the particular service that I feel you can render during any season. Any of the angelic brotherhood can be offered the full use of your inner bodies for a temporary habitation in order to form a radiating focus in the lower spheres. This provides for them a set of vehicles and obviates the necessity of the masters to use tremendous force to create temporary vehicles for the angelic brothers and saves the force required by the master in holding the ray that the angel might be sustained in the lower realms. In this way, the angels and men working together as conscious members in God's service would form a tie of brotherhood based on cooperative service and their very close association would develop a spiritual affinity and consciousness and through the blending of the two lines of evolution both parties would be tremendously accelerated in their spiritual evolution and the tremendous force of the gods could be utilized in another manner for the good of all. In the coming days when the Ascended Master Saint Germain fully takes command of the predominant consciousness of the people, the angels and men will consciously and constantly abide with each other and be co-workers in both kingdoms. But in following out the above suggestion, I would say that the assistance to the lower spheres through the anchorage of countless angels who are radiating centers of love, kindliness, patience, beauty and perfection would reveal to you the full truth of this. Becoming a co-worker, as my service is directly concerned with the angelic host and as I see countless opportunities for the establishment of members of that brotherhood in many places where mankind is in such distress and agony of body and soul, I would that the students understood more fully how they might become conscious co-workers with me in offering the bodies of all people in distress and those incarnated to the ascended host and the angelic beings who would establish themselves within the strata of the mental, emotional, etheric and physical distress would by radiation change its quality into perfection. <music> Every valley, every valley.